Festivities wrapping up. The crowd is electric, and we'll be back to get it going right after this. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show presents the National League Division Series. The Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. Well, it's a lot to ask a team to come back from down 2-0, but it's been done before, and I know they're not lacking in confidence, even in this tough situation, but it all starts with getting off to a good start in this one. And when you're the team that holds the 2-0 edge in a five-game series, you want to end the series right now. Absolutely. Avoid any drama or doubt and finish the job. First pitch coming your way next. And now, Gerald Raymond. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And first offering is fouled off. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. That's ripped into the outfield. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he's in safely at third. A run comes in on the play. With the bases juiced, he refused to get pull happy. He stayed within himself, drove the ball to center field, That'll get across a run. And next for Atlanta, Jermaine Little. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. And a good eye there. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Hey, have a rip at it up there, huh? And he deals. Hey. That one's in there. Three and two Great now. Torkelson, the runner at third. Harris at second. Raymond at first. One gone. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's Brian Rocchio in the air center field. Matos in position, and that is that. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Braves two and the Nationals nothing. Jim Phillips digging in for the Nationals. Batting in, the first baseman. Jim. Nobody out, runner at first. Nobody here, nobody. That one down the line. Not in time, he's safe. Good job of just putting the ball. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Gerald Raymond. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Come on, big guy. Come on, buddy. 
Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. His second home run of the series, and they grab the lead. It's 4-3. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's it. Back here in Nationals Park, stepping in the long ball threat, Gerald Raymond. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Line drive, caught! Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Gerald Raymond. He's already homered here in this one. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. That one is absolutely belted back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. All muscle to center field. That's his third home run of the series. And they tack on to their lead. It's 8-6. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Now, Gerald Raymond. Good contact guy, good defender. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And that one is lifted in the air. Chavez turns to the right on the move. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the Nationals bounce back from consecutive losses to take game three of the series. In an elimination game, you see your season quickly coming to an end. It can be a bit nerve-wracking, but they were able to settle things down, come out and play really good baseball in this one. They get the win, and the series continues. Who knows? Maybe they'll get right back in it. Singing, we saw plenty of offense in this one. Yeah, no doubt, and they were wearing out home play. Just look at these numbers. I mean, we were treated to a lot of fireworks in this one. And your final 11-8. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.